So in in SAP, what happens? There is a module oh. called SOP module, right? Yeah. Sales and operations planning module is there, right? Mm -hmm. So they create lot of you know forecast profile, forecast strategy they call. They they have like uh, you know moving average price or you know weighted averages, and they you know they they smoothen that like you now with the beta, alpha, gamma. All these are the mathematical models. Okay. Yeah. So they they employ these models and they call it as a forecast strategy, right? The profile, mm -hmm. right? So what SAP does is, right, from the from the planning perspective, it borrows this particular forecast strategy, right? Mm -hmm. And it looks at the historical values. Yeah. What do you mean by historical? For example, last one year or last five years, whatever happened, right? That is what is historical value, right? Mm -hmm. So using this forecast strategy, right? Using these historical values, system calculates a kind of trend analysis, right? Like yeah. for example, periods and the trend line. You know, you know what I mean, trend line, right? So there is like okay. Mm -hmm. So based on this trend line, right? When you use plan by forecast, right? You are going to specify what is the forecast strategy and what is the reference data. Both you will give, right? Yeah. You will give the forecast strategy. Again, uh, as I was mentioning, this is like you will not do anything. It is SAP module, SOP module. Okay. Yeah. You will ask them like, you no, know, give us like, you know, this model. The best thing that easy to understand is a moving average, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Moving average is very easy to understand, right? So moving average, right? So that you know they use moving average price and the trend, and then look at the historical value and extrapolate that to come with the planning values. Yeah. So plan values are calculated based on the historical trend and forecast profile. Yeah. Right. So that is what is you know plan by forecast, right? So just for your understanding purpose. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 you know easy what to I understand. Heard is it is so much complex that beta, alpha, gamma. What yeah. system does we don't know. Yeah, yeah, that that's what. Until that's you what know the, uh, how a forecasting model works, uh, you cannot even explain it to the user. Yeah, but you, but you remember, remote. but you remember, if any company if you go, if they are using yeah. forecast strategy, you know, planning and all that, they, they pretty much know, know these functionalities. Yes. Yeah, because they, you know that is what the place where the business is. You know, they may be using already. Maybe they are using weighted average. They may be using average or moving average or you know, all this they are using, right? Yeah. One thing is right, right? These profiles also are given by SAP. Uh huh. Yes, you will just go and use them, and you know it will come up with. Okay. Who is or... working on the SOP module will define. What to use, uh, what parameters to use, or what will be the reference data? He will have to map it, and he'll find out which uh, method to use, weighted average or average or whatever it is, and with their users to come up with uh, whether to use beta, alpha, or gamma, whatever. Yes, uh, kind of. That, that's what I can say. That's what I can say. That yes, you're right. Okay. Uh, okay. How different is this SOP module uh, from? APO module, then it will be different. Then actually, uh, actually, you know, uh, what I, I mean, I'm not an expert in the SOP module, SOP module area, but SOP is it seems replaced by APO. Yeah. Right. So you know, people may not be using SOP, but again, I'm not expert on that. I I cannot you know misguide you on that. Right. But you know, yeah. APO so is a much more. In uh, the previous project, somebody came and worked on APO. Still, they are working, and they don't under. Uh, there are a lot of questions up and down going on for nearly six months to one year. How to uh, come up with that APO values? Anyway, it, it worked for them, but still, they are not able to find out how those figures are finally arrived at. But I think they are trying to understand it. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Okay. That's no, yeah. That's. Uh... All these are the complex scenarios, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, anyway, there is different as such. So that forecast yeah. is, uh, but this one will uh, update 
our copa or not yeah yeah potato? yeah the, the end of the day you know when you are planning it is a copa only right mm-hmm. say what you are trying to do is that i when i am planning instead of copy i instead of copying my reference data as it is i am using one more element of you know this trend right and i am smoothening that copy and posting here you know best thing is i just copy and work on that rather than doing all these strategies i didn't get your up, last one. yeah so you know basically uh, what you are doing here you know it will affect your copa you are taking the reference data which is historical values right mm-hmm. and you are planning your copa using mm-hmm. the forecast profile strategy here right so you know got already the values there you mean to say this is this is trend only right you know for example yeah. uh, uh, say december uh, weight is like you know 50% december january is you know 5% right so then okay based on, based on this particular trend uh, when you have a reference data then you know the same reference data based on this trend it will plan the, with the trend only which means it will plan more in december and less in january yeah that are the actually so yep. this uh, data is available in the forecast once you do the apo or sop planning uh, yes uh, so from that forecast yeah. you can reference it and do the copa planning or that's copy correct. the data to copa that's correct okay and uh, because uh, previously what we did is uh, the apo planning was done separately and it was used for mrp planning but uh, the copa planning was uh, uh, completely different it was done manually as an excel upload yeah so you know so it, both are they, different then yes both are different okay then but you can you know i mean use sop module to transfer the values into copa also right so that functionality is there again yeah. uh, what is needed is that you know that sop guy should have some knowledge of copa and copa guys should have some you know understanding of sop how in you know, how they are how they are grouping all their characteristics right yeah because we will start talking about profit center wise planning and they talk start talking about planning based on some other material group yeah they may yeah. match or they may not match exactly yeah exactly so the same way there is something called ratio right so again ratio also is you know very easy right so the ratio is you know price for example price is a ratio between revenue and quantity right mm-hmm. for example reference data uh, reference data is there let's say last year data okay uh, last year you know, i think you asked this question right so the last year data uh let's say my material right i yeah. sold 100 100 quantity and uh, the total revenue was 2000 which means how much is the you know price so like 2000 revenue divided by 100 20 dollars right? something yeah. 20 dollars that is the price right mm-hmm. that is that will become a ratio right because yeah. that is a uh, you know ratio between this revenue and quantity so now now what you are no, yeah now what you are doing price is not the price price is a ratio here yeah yeah because the price i mean in sap you will not store price in copa right you are storing the price in normally in your uh, i mean as the conditions right but mm-hmm. on uh, on average like you know you will look at okay what was my uh, you know revenue right divided by quantity in this example i am taking as a revenue right so that is yeah. the price but in this case the price you are taking like this right but you know you can create a ratio for it is uh, what sap is giving because i may have uh, different prices for different uh, products how can i come up with the average price of it so this ratio is going to help me yeah so exactly or you know you can plan by that different products and you know that product level and you know that yeah, product level with that product level again we can have that uh, prices for product level. yes exact price you can have right yeah and then what you will do you will just enter the quantity for the plan right and then apply the ratio then in our system automatically will plan the revenue yeah 
So, so here if you see the revenue is calculated based on given quantity and reference ratio. The reference ratio is nothing but like you know okay revenue by quantity, right? So basically your plan. So this is this is what it is a plan, right? This this section is a plan section, right? Yeah. So you are taking the reference and calculating the price, which is ratio, and taking this value and applying for this quantity to get mm -hmm. back your revenue, which is a new revenue, right? Yeah. Because the the quantity is new quantity, right? You enter so in the plan, what you will enter, you will enter only quantity. Quantity, right? not the and then you yeah, not the revenue. So because revenue you are getting through the ratio, which is you know price itself. Mm -hmm. So, so this good practice, uh, it is always good to uh, enter the quantity, plan quantities, and come up with a. Uh, ratio for prices, then you will get the revenue plan automatically. Yeah, I mean that is the functionality you have to use, right? Otherwise, if you want to plan revenue also, then you are not using the SAP functionality. It is becoming like a manual plan. <laughs> Obviously, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. For the revaluation, right? For example, I can enter my plan, right? I can enter my plan, and then you know. Create a revaluation percentage, say 10 percentage revaluate. So then you know entire new plan will come with this revaluation percentage. Mm -hmm. So which means you entered some quantities and then you know apply percentage of revaluation. It's very easy to understand, right? Yeah, this is a good. Uh, but if I want to have like product group one to be revalued at 10 percent, product group two be 5 percent. That also is available. Yeah, yeah, it is very much possible because okay. uh, it all all this revaluation you are giving at at particular package level. Okay. So where you will give every package a different revaluation key, right? Okay. So it all depends upon how you define your package. That is the starting point. Yes, yes. Okay. And another important thing here is that you remember the an announcement. Like you know, user exit. You can also use user exit here. Okay. Right. So you know, like apply some percentage of enhancement. Like you may have a complex code to apply some percentages, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you can. I mean, I actually, actually, you know, here I've written wrongly. Here, this is wrong. Now revenue with ratio. But what I mean here is, like, you know, you use an enhancement which is nothing but user code right and yeah. then you do calculate whatever the ratios you want right you know nothing yeah. nothing to do and then you know you get the plan here okay if, within, if you have, if you have it. Since within same product i have different type of uh, variations yes. then they uh, if it is very complex like yes yes makes sense the so same product group may be there but if i supply to this per customer uh, this trend is going up. Then I want to have this ratio with another customer group with another product. Some combinations, if they come up, then we can use this enhancement, That's correct. which That's we will correct. not be able to meet up with uh, revaluation or uh, valuation or revaluation functionality. Yes, yes, yes. Now, if you are not able to do all that, right? Then you can use uh, pretty much user enhanced functionality, right? And put a user code here, and you know, and the user exit yeah, and uh, the selection screen to enter. Yeah, obviously, obviously, you have to give, you have to give the, all the functional specs, right, to do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So one thing I did not tell you again, you know, the top-down distribution thing, right? Uh, because this I am going to, you know, show you for actual. Right. Yeah, there is a good uh, good uh, example I have uh, that I, uh, that example I'll show you uh, for the top down distribution, and that is actually that in functionality you should know because when you co when you say COPA, uh, top down distribution is very important functionality. Okay. Okay. So that I will um, I will cover there. Okay. So the you know top down distribution I was talking about right. So this is you know, the top down distribution. Uh, you know, conceptually, I'll go through this and uh, explain the things, right? 
and then uh, with